we decided to take a trip to a Chinese supermarket, which is called Walmart. Here you can find basically everything. But before the supermarket, we decided to get some food here around, and we are actually experiencing something really, really, really local. Uh, check it People out. People are staring at us. <laughs> <laughs> Looking. <laughs> Ni hao. No. We are ready to go shopping. I think she wanted to tell us not to film in this market, but since we're foreigners and they don't know how to explain it in English, I think we should run. <laughs> they like to play really loud music, usually Chinese. They usually have the person just shouting out loud if there's promotion or just playing this Chinese music or Christmas music. So these are the Chinese snacks. Some these to some crumbs, some jellos. They really love their packaging. You see, you can have any kind you want. They have so many different sorts, tastes, brands. Sadly, when it comes to coffee, there's not so much you can actually choose from. You mainly can have Nescafe. If you come to China for good coffee, forget it. Go for tea. Fish heads on sale. 6 yuan. And if you want something fresh, even chicken feet. My stomach is a little sick now with all the smell. <laughs> this baby food, there are some baby food. Yeah, you here. like it? <laughs> Though in the Netherlands it's all sold out because the Chinese people they buy it and actually sell it here because mm. it's so expensive here. Yeah. Has locks and stuff. Ball, what is that you have in your hands? It's a, it's a skippy ball from midget. They even have um, baby noodles. You can learn here rat, panda, tig tiger, raccoon. Very smart. Perfume. You eat and you learn English wow. meanwhile. Chinese selection of beers. As you see, they have many different kinds. This is our personal favorite because they basically serve it everywhere. If you want something more more like home, you get some of the Carlsberg, you know. Pineapple beer too. Sweet. So these are the um, Chinese wines, apparently the Great Wall. We tried once, you get the headache afterwards, like a day after, but it tastes like wine, I mean. And it has a beautiful Great Wall on it. And if you feel like being a little bit more light, you just go for a Ria. And you can have some more <laughs> Different things like plum wine. Let's, let's go to the most important section. This is baijiu, which is the basically vodka in China, which means that you drink it and you get so shit faced, so drunk that you will not remember tomorrow or the night after. Anyway, foreigners don't usually like it because it has some specific taste and it also um, is quite strong, I would say. This one is 52%. All the way from 400 to this nice bottle. I don't even know why it has a lock. It's only like 11 yuan, which is like what? 1.5 euros. But um, yeah, it's a student favorite. Okay, and I remember that I just left my backpack over there. You can leave your bag like in the middle of the mall with all your belongings and nobody will even touch it. Guess why? Because there are cameras everywhere. <laughs> Ta da! Where? Uh, there's one. There's another one. There's a big one. Oh yes, they're watching all the way over there. So you always be watch. In the beginning, it might be uncomfortable, but in the end, you just be like, yeah. A big brother is watching over exactly. you. Exactly, and you're like, <laughs> whatever. You wanna watch me? Watch me. Things that we really miss while living here in China that we can't really find: cheese, cheese bread. on bread. <laughs> bread is really sweet here, and the cheese is super expensive. It's hard to find, and if you find it, it's so so expensive. Usually, if you like buy some cheese, it doesn't really taste. The like it should. Yogurt is too sweet here and yogurt, know, it's yeah. maybe some fruit in it or whatever. It is super thin as well. They mm -hmm. always drink their yogurt here. I want to eat my yogurt. Besides that, we miss fresh air. And that's <laughs> basically everything has changed. It's hard to find things two yes. years ago. Now it's like you want China's this. China is developing so fast. Yeah. This is all yogurt. However, they taste so different compared to the ones back home in Europe. This is the meat of China. This is literally a sausage that doesn't have to stand in a fridge and you can just like eat it like this or heat it up. Have you ever tried it? 
I tried it before, it's okay. But it's it's the thing eatable, is, right? Like, you don't know what it is, and it's kind of concerning. All the sodas, once you learn how to read them, but actually you can identify them. This is Coca Cola Zero, this is a Cherry Coke. This is Monster, it says in Monster, what else do we have? Sprite, for example, so like you couldn't tell what it is, but you can read from the symbols, bottles, colors. So um, yeah, one, one thing here is that, look at the prices. For a bottle of Coke, for example, you pay, what is that even? It's like nothing, nothing. it's like not even 40 euro cents. Oh, Sprite Zero, does that even exist in, in Europe? Yes. Maybe now it does, we've been here way too long, I'm gonna say. Last year, I swear, the only dove they had was this in every store, and then yes. you could not get any chocolate. You can find literally everything you want. Like, you're not missing things here anymore. So another thing, we love the flavors that they have of chips, Italian meat. My personal favorite, cucumber. Feels like it's healthy, not really, but I mean, it's actually a really good mix. Such a weird one, but I love it. Cool, butter and honey. So now follow us to the weird section. Spicy, anoki mushroom, mushroom. dried bean curd. You know, this mushroom is, you know, this is like China's favorite joke. Oh, really? These mushrooms are called translated see you tomorrow because it's hard to digest. Mm. Tofu? Some tofu. If you fancy some um, chicken wings or chicken legs, you can I just... heard it's pretty good actually. <laughs> got some squid. We got some oh, these are dried, dried fish. cod slices. Oh, oh I, I tried. Uh, I'm not sure if it was this one, but like some strips. It was pretty good. And what is here? When this one or that one? When you come to China, make sure you bring your facial products because in this country it is considered beautiful to be white. Yeah. So, whatever you buy, it's always white name. It will make you silky and white. Everything is white. Like, even like the sun protector is whitening you. It's funny because in Europe everybody wants to get tan. And here everybody's walking with their little umbrellas. Yeah. You see on a sunny day what people are wearing on the streets. I like know, these crazy. hats and like all over their faces. Like, oh my god, where Long do you come stuff from? As well. like, Back in the day when we came here, everything was like this in Chinese. But now they're actually getting the English translations on there. Also, back in the day, it was impossible to find the order. And now look. I can never find body lotion. Yeah. I learned so uh, how to translate. So you have this this app, Placo, and then you can just draw the characters in mm. there. So still, I'm doing that actually. Still, I'm, just now when I was buying something, I needed to know what flavor it was. These are still my struggles. Yeah, struggle is real in China. Struggle is real, people. If you don't study the language. Victor, make sure that you look like his girlfriend in his camera. I hope it's like a really nice sticky body right now. Hmm? I realized that this young man speaks English. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>